Um, today we're gonna uh, have a lesson on special angles. Um, usually when they are asking you special angles, they'll give you an instruction do not use a calculator. So this lesson is intended to show you what's happening and then to show you how to use a calculator that they don't see that you've used the calculator. Okay, there are a few special angles and you have to learn them uh, and know them. The first one is zero degrees and then we have 30 degrees is in this triangle, 45, 60, 90, 180, 270, and 360. But the other ones, is not a problem because they are more than 90. They are, they are not acute angles. We'll always reduce and end up with these ones. So, uh, we have two triangles. I'm going to use the first one. With these triangles, we're going to find sine, cos, and tan using these triangles. And then I'm going to show you how you use a calculator that you, you don't need to memorize the triangles and memorize the table. Right, the triangle goes like, the, the table goes like this. This is theta, these are angles. Theta could either be 30, 45, or 60. The first one, it's sine, so we're gonna have sine 30. It means for theta, I put 30. Sine 30. Sine 30 is in the first triangle. What is sine? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So it means my sine is one over two okay so we're gonna do the next one what is cos theta cos theta when you're using 30 it means it's cos 30 this triangle has 30 cos is adjacent over hypotenuse which is root 3 over 2 okay tan 30 what is tan here's my angle 30 Tan is opposite over adjacent. So it means my tan 30 is 1 over root 3. Okay. Now we are going to use 45. It means we are going to use this triangle. Sine 45. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So it's 1 over root 2. Because 45 is adjacent over hypotenuse. It's 1 over root 2. And tan 45. Tan is opposite over adjacent, which is 1 over 1, which will be 1. Now we use 60 is this triangle again. Sine 60. Here's my angle 60. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Root 3 over 2. Cos 60. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. 1 over 2. And tan 60. Tan is opposite over adjacent. It's root 3 over 1, which is the same as root 3. Okay. This is how you use the tab the, the triangles and get fill the table. Right? Now let's look at, at the question. Okay. When you are asked to find sine 60, you go to your table. Sine is sine 60 is this so it means sine 60 is square root 3 over 2 right so you can do that with your calculator it's sine you press sine and then you press 60 then you press equals to you get exactly the same thing square root 3 over 2 so in an exam when they say find sine 60 there is no way that they can find out that you've used the table or you've used the calculator so you can just use a calculator, no one will know. Right, let's look at cot 30. You, you, you should remember that cot is a reciprocal of tan. So cot 30, you find tan 30 and then you swap it around. Because the reciprocal is the inverse. So you need to know which inverse is its inverse of tan. So we're going to find tan 30. Tan 30. Look at our table. Tan 30 is 1 over root 2. Okay. But because it's tan, 1 over root 2. You see here it's tan, but here it's cot. So when you have tan, reciprocal of cot, whatever answer you get, you swap it around. So it will be, your answer will be root 3. Right. Now let's look at how you get that with the calculator. Okay, you go tan 30. Is it tan 30? Yes, 
tan 30 is equals to now this is tan 30 tan 30 is one of the few that they will find you that you're doing with a calculator tan 30 gives you root 3 over 3 so when you get root 3 over 3 the 3 and a 3 and a root on top when you use a table you actually get 1 over root 3 so these two things are, 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 are the same you get a root 3 over root 3 it's one of them the other one when you get a root 2 over 2 when you write this they're gonna know that you've used a calculator so how do you write that which means exactly the same thing is 1 over root 2 in your calculator when you get root 2 over 2 you write this 1 over root 2 then they will not know that you've been using a calculator this one root 3 over 3 you write 1 over 3 then you don't know what that you'll be using a calculator okay in the question paper they ask you cut 30 then you punch in a calculator tan 30 you got root 3 over 3 and then you make sure that they don't see that you use a calculator you write it as 1 over root 3 but this is tan. You were asked caught. So you take that, you swap it around. When you swap it around, your answer will be root 3. Let's look at another example. Right, let's see when you calculate cos 45. You're going to press in your calculator, cos, then you press 45, you write equals to. Your calculator will give you root 2 over 2. You don't write root 2 over 2. They will see that you use a calculator. You write 1 over root 2. They are the only two. When you get root 3 over 3 and root 2 over 2. Root 3 over 3, you write it as 1 over root 3. Root 2 over 2, you write it one as 1 over root 2. They are the only two. Everything else comes out exactly like it would in the table. So when they say do not use a calculator, they actually mean... Do not use the calculator to calculate everything in the question. Not to say that you are forbidden to use your calculator when you have brought the calculator to the exam. Thank you for watching. Please practice, practice and please subscribe.